What is going on guys, it's your boy SavJ888 and we are back with another tutorial. Today we are doing this sugarcane zero tick farm. It is probably the most efficient farm on YouTube. It is a new mechanic and is very, very efficient. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, here are the materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need about a stack of redstone, a redstone torch, lever, two stacks of blocks of really any type, doesn't really matter, 48 sand, 16 of the sticky and regular pistons, four repeaters, 18 hoppers, Shuriken, some glass if you want to make it look nicer, but this is not necessary. Two chests, two water buckets, and six observers. As you see, it's a very cheap build in general, and let's get right into this video. Alrighty, the first step, what you're gonna wanna do is take your sand and build eight back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then repeat that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take out all of these blocks underneath the sand and on this side as well. And now you're gonna place your sticky pistons facing this direction, like so, on both sides. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take redstone and carry it around the backs of both of these, as I'm showing you right here. And then you can get ready for the next step. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is make your redstone clock so come two blocks over here like this, make a T shape, hit up the middle block, place a repeater here, a torch on that side of the block there, a lever and a piece of redstone, flip the lever. And now you can see this extends all of these pistons. Now take it two to the right and then through the middle. Once you get to this block, place a repeater. That's gonna extend the signal to these pistons. Now that you have that done, you're gonna to wanna to place your sand on top of the piston like this. And do it on this side as well. With that done, you're gonna to wanna to place blocks in the middle. So the block of your choice. And you're also gonna place it two up on this side. Once you have that done, you're gonna to wanna to prepare yourself to put the water. So what we're gonna do is just build around like I'm doing right here. And you're gonna do this on both sides. And before you finish that, what you wanna do is you wanna bring your signal up. So take three observers like this on these corners with a piece of redstone dust on the top of them and leave those how they are then. Now, break these blocks in the middle and now you're gonna place your water. With two buckets, you can make a instant water source and you'll have enough water to fill this entire thing. Once you have that done, place in your shuriken all along the sand. Repeat that on both sides until your farm looks like this. Now, what you wanna do is take the block of your choice and just bring it across like this. Do that on the same for this side. And then you're gonna to wanna to place your pistons on top of these. With your pistons all set, now you wanna place another row of blocks like this, coming from over here as well. And you're gonna to wanna to have a repeater coming out of this on the second tick, and then carry the redstone signal all the way down. You have to repeat this for this side as well. So now, when you flip the lever, you can see the farm is all set. Now it is time to do our collection system. So what you're gonna do is take your hoppers and have them facing this block and just alternate like this until you get to the entire uh, thing done. And then you wanna come back around here and place some temporary blocks right here and bring it out one more because you're gonna have glass on top of this. So now take your glass and just put it on top like so. And this is gonna improve the efficiency of your farm. You will repeat that on the other side as well. So now you're gonna wanna take your chests and put them right here so that when you flip the switch to turn your farm on, all the sugarcane will come into this chest. To improve the efficiency of your farm, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just place blocks on top of all the pistons and the glass so that no sugarcane can go over. 
So like you see like this. Now your farm is fully complete and you're set to turn it on and off whenever you want. What you can do with the shuriken is you can turn it into paper to trade with villagers. You can use it to make your enchanting table stuff like bookshelves and you can turn this into bone meal. And if you've made it this far in the video, I would really appreciate if you guys just hit that subscribe button and the like button because it means a lot. I have not seen a farm on YouTube for Bedrock Edition that uses this mechanic to get shuriken. All I've seen is the ones with hoppers and dispensing water into them and those are a lot more expensive and difficult to make. This one is more tileable and you can expand it to larger sizes and it is also more efficient. See you guys in the outro. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate all your support. And if you liked, that would be very great. I spent a lot of time in this farm and this design. And also, thank you guys for 300 subscribers. It's really cool, it means a lot. And also 4,000 followers on TikTok. See you guys in the next video.